Well, hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Geek with Glasses Live. Today, we're going to go ahead and do a product unboxing of the Odyssey Lower East Side Media Speakers. Uh, the guys over at Odyssey were good enough to get a copy of these for the Tech Nutty uh, blog to take a look at, and of, of course, they were uh, sent to me so that we could do an unboxing and do a full product review. So I'm going to actually take a look and let's see what we get in the box, and then I'm going to put these through their paces. I'm going to hook them up to my gaming rig, and uh, we'll check them out. We'll see how they perform with some games, first-person shooter and um, some RPG-style games, and uh, put them through their paces with some media and some regular music as well. Cool part is these speakers are extremely customizable as to how and what you plug them into, and we'll talk about that in just a few minutes. So what we see in the, uh, the face of the box, you get a picture of the product. You got two of your uh, speakers here, some graphics and some photos from around the Lower East Side of Manhattan, which is where they grab the inspiration for the design of the speakers. Um, what we see is we get a digital input, uh, optical input, which is really cool. So this uses that fiber optic cable that you normally plug into your home entertainment center and as advertised here, can plug directly into your Apple TV. The smart, peak, uh, smart Beaker technology has clear and balanced sound, passive bass reduction, deep rich bass, um, same thing written out in French. If we flip it around on the back, we talk about what we get. Um, they are 0.75 inch silk dome tweeters, two three and a half inch woofers, and four inch passive bass radiators. Um, then it talks a little bit more about uh, what you get. You get a 3.5 millimeter line, so that's your normal like computer jack that you would plug into. You get a uh, headphone output, um, easy access to volume control, automatic standby mode, and then kind of talks about what we get in the box. So a little bit more, some pictures of Lower East Side, some of the graffiti art in Manhattan, and then just some product placement. A um, couple of different languages. So let's, let's take a look. Let's see what we get in the box. <clears throat> Pop open the top here. Okay, so the first thing we see on the inside is a quick start guide. So this is probably going to talk about the different types of connections and uh, you know how you would use them. And it's probably in the obligatory, you know, five or six different languages. Actually, I like this. It's very simple. They're speakers, right? So how hard are they to plug in? Um, basically, step one, step two, step three, and a couple of languages. So I like that. Keep it simple. It's the KISS theory. Keep it simple, stupid. All right, let's see what we get. These are actually got some good heft to them. I like that. That means there are some good magnets. All right, let's see. Pop open the top. And first thing that looks like we're going to get is a power cord. Plug those bad boys in. Basic power cord, just your uh, regular kind of a laptop type adapter. On the other side is the actual power brick. So these are going to plug directly into the back of the, um, the speaker unit and your uh, power adapter there. So we got a power adapter there power brick. We get some basic speaker cable. So this is just your normal speaker cable, again, that you would kind of plug in from your home entertainment center into the speakers, right? So this will go directly um, between the two speakers, I would assume. We'll figure that all out. And then we've got standard three and a half inch mini jack. So this is like, you know, if you want to plug it into your iPod or your iPhone or your iPad um, or directly into your computer sound card using uh, an analog um, plug, so that's that's what that is. Now the cool part is, we pull these speakers out. I don't want to handle them too much in the back because it's got a nice big woofer there. Let's see, how do we get these open? Pull them out of the top. I like the feel. I like the uh, the matte kind of tactile tactile feel that they've got on the sides. Real nice. It's a kind of like you can see there. It's not real reflective. It's not real um, flat. It's got a volume control. Um, not sure. Yep, power and volume. Headphone port, very simplistic design. Couple rubber feet on the bottom, keep it from uh, bouncing around and skipping on the on the desk. And then on the back, this is the cool part. So here's our inputs. So we're going to plug our power in right here. We could use our regular three and a half inch um, millimeter, you know, from the from the computer, or the iPhone. Then we've got audio. So this is that fiber optic. This is where you would plug like your your Apple TV directly in, or your home entertainment center if you've got a stereo and you don't have a full set of speakers. And then I'm assuming these are going to connect the two um, speakers left and right. So as you can see, we've got a nice little. This doesn't come off, but nice little mesh on the front. And then it looks like we've got a rear-facing subwoofer here. I don't want to mess this up, but you can tell that that's the uh, rear-facing sub. So let's put that down. Let's pull out the other unit and see what we get. Same thing. Yeah, so the, the wires that go in between are going to go between the left and the right channel. So the, that wire will connect the two speakers together. The only thing is I do not see an indicator. I like the badging. Nice, very simplistic. Kind of hard to see. Let's see there. We get the reflection in there. You go. You can see the Odyssey brand there on the side. I really like the design. The fit and finish is very nice. 
not too overwhelmingly large on the desktop. But what I was going to say is I do not see which one of these would be considered the left or the right speaker. And I'm assuming that most likely it's going to say that in the manual. It'll probably say the volume is, is typically your right speaker. So I would assume that that's what it is. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. It actually does not say. So we do not know right off the bat which one needs to be left channel and which one needs to be the right channel. But uh, can diagnose that pretty quickly. We can plug it in and uh, switch left right from our computer. So let's go ahead and take these in. I'm going to plug these into uh, my gaming rig and uh, see what they uh, sound like. We're going to put them through their paces and uh, we'll see what kind of audio sound. We'll do some audio recordings and uh, just play back and we'll do a full review of the Odyssey Lower East Side media speakers coming up shortly. So stay tuned and as always uh, check me out at uh, Keep Glasses. Um, dot net, as well as facebook.com slash geekwithglasses, twitter.com slash geekwithglasses. And for full review of the Odyssey speakers, written review, check out Tech Blog, uh, Tech Nutty Blog, which is technutty.co.uk. Um, it's Tech Nutty Blog on Twitter and facebook.com slash technutty. So we will look forward to you and uh, stay tuned for the review coming up soon. Thanks a lot and have a good day.